Hello guys and welcome to Blue Block. Now today we're going to be on Unity again and the topic of today is changing the color of your game object. So here we don't yet have a game object but we're going to go ahead and make one. Uh, you know how to make one from the uh, video where we where I taught you guys that. And we're just going to go with the normal old cube and we're going to probably scale it up a bit. So we can actually see the size better. That's a little. That's that's a bit. It's a bit big. But now we're able to easily see it. But we're going to learn on changing the color of everything. So, cause this was really hard for me to understand, uh, or not understand, but hard for me to figure out. I did not know how to change the color. It's not. You can't just like select this and change the color. Uh, you have to actually like. It, it's. You have to manually change the color and it's very confusing so uh we're gonna go ahead and sort that out so here we're going to in the assets area inside the project we're gonna go ahead and create a folder and we're gonna go to create up here and then go into folder mind you, you have to right click this 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 little area to show up this and then we're gonna go into our, we're gonna rename our new folder. Let's call it, uh, colors. Hold on. Let's call it colors. This guy's will, this will really help you out, guys. So it helped me a lot, out a lot, so it's definitely gonna help you out. And then we're gonna go ahead and go to create, uh, we're gonna go to create material right here. And then click that, and here we have a new material, we can name it. So we can name it, uh, wall color if we want. And then go to the color right here, and our C our, as you can see, our current color is white, because this is our current color. But if we move it over to, I don't know, red, all the way, it changes the material color of this right here, of what we made. But we can go ahead and change that to, I don't know, green. And it changed again, but we're going to use blue in this situation. And we're going to exit out. Pressing this X. And then we're going to grab this and drag it all the way onto our game object in order to change the color. Now, I did not know this was a thing, but it works. Now, if you go onto your cube, it shows the wall color material because it's attached to it. It's basically a component that this automatically has. But you didn't you didn't add anything to it, so it was an empty component. So now we filled it with the wall color material. So I'm glad that th this honestly helped me out a lot, and I'm glad I'm here to help you guys with this because it's it's really something that needs to be just out there. So with that, um, I hope you like, subscribe, and I'll see you later.